Hey guys, welcome back to the Kool Aid Podcast. Welcome back to episode 90 of season two. On today's episode, we're going to be giving you our post match reaction to the Almeria versus Barcelona game. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't the best of results for Barcelona. We ended off in a 1 0 defeat. Uh, but before we start the episode, let me introduce my co hosts for today, Alex and Alvaro. Hey guys, what's up, guys? All right, what's up, guys? Um, guys, remember on Twitter, I post a link at the start uh, of every episode. Click on the link at Coley Podcast 10. You click on the link. And if you want to basically add to the discussion, give your thoughts, you're always welcome to. Just click on the link and you'll be able to join. But as I, as I mentioned, Barcelona went away to Almeria. They lost 1-0. It was the first time we ever lose to Almeria. Disappointed in this, especially after the loss against Manchester City. I mean, unless Manchester United it just compounds uh, that feeling of, of defeat. And then it could be looking to be a really bad week for Xavi and Barcelona because now our next game is against Real Madrid in the Copa del Rey. Um, and a chance where Barcelona could have gone 10 points clear at the top is now reduced to seven. Uh, but guys, what are your feelings? What, what, what were your thoughts watching this game? How are you feeling? Well, I mean, it, it goes without saying, very disappointed right now. Um, it felt like an easy three points got away from us today. And obviously no one likes losing, but especially when you have the chance to widen the margin even more. I mean, seven points isn't isn't bad by any means, but I believe they still have a game in hand, right? Uh, no, it, it, it's actually just that. Uh, it's Barcelona. Kind of, well, either it's way, you know, it, it, it could have been 10, right? So Yeah. <laughs> while, it's, while it's very disappointing that we lost at the same time, I'm not too mad just because, listen um, – Yes, yeah, it's because that we lost. We could have kept going with the win streak, but we still <laughs> we still got seven points. There's still a lot of ground for Madrid to cover. Um, I do want to say is we are not in in the worst spot because as of late, Madrid haven't had the best form. Yes, they beat Liverpool, but that's we saw what a terrible game that was uh, for both sides. And and for you know goes goes further beyond that because. They tied against Atletico, nearly losing. I mean, Atletico is a good team, much better than Almeria. Yeah. But you know, but I think both teams are in a bad situation right now. Not, not, not in a bad one, in a in a mediocre situation. Now, of course, I'm very mad with the game at hand. Um, <clears throat> I thought I thought we were terrible offensively today. Yeah. Barely any, barely any energy, any desire to score to attack, and <clears throat> unfortunately, we're feeling the absence of Pedri in the midfield. Uh, and I think today we also missed Araujo and Balde on defense. Not saying that's the reason we lost. Um, I think the goal that we got sco- that we that they scored on us was was a dumb goal. Um, yes, it was well struck. This and that, but I think their second could have come out sooner to pile yeah. up the pressure. Um, just I, I, I just think m- more than that. I think there could have been much better defending, and that a lot of that could have happened. But I'll, I'll pass it on to Albert now. See what he thinks. Look. With how that man U match ended, this game was a most a must win. Whether or not we had a chance to go up ten points against Madrid, whether this had been any sort of game, you needed to to win this game. There was nothing else to say for the morale of the team, for the energy of the team. Um, <laughs> you, you you saw how 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 deflated this team is. I mean, yeah. Am- Maria is not a good team. They are no. not a good team. And, and it makes zero sense um, because, okay, Xavi doesn't start his best lineup against Man United in the first leg at home. Okay, you're prioritizing La, La Liga. What I don't understand is, okay, why are you rotating against Almedia? Your entire back line. Your entire back line. Um, you're going with that with that. Um, you're basically your B defense. And... Barcelona going to into the the game with zero intensity, zero effort. Guys, you we, we just got knocked out of Europe. But the league is basically the only thing we have, and you're playing like this with this intensity, with this uh, effort being shown on this play. Very poor. And then I, as um, as you mentioned, Alex, I think that Barcelona are missing Pedri so much, and especially uh, Usman Dembele, two players who are very creative, who are able to like destabilize um, the back line. And just add some offensive uh, threat to the team. I think that midfield was completely stale. I think with Busquets and Kessie playing a mediocre game, the system lacks that, that creativity. I thought, and I, this is something I don't like, but 
uh, this is a stat that five of the eight goals that we've conceded in La Liga have have been with Eric Garcia in the starting lineup. Mm. Like, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's I, not I believe, I believe yeah, it, Henderson was chasing uh, the one that scored. But either way, I, I, I'm sorry? No, it, it was Christian Symbol. What's it called? Like that position, well, yeah, but, like from the entire team was just poor. Mm-hmm. Like there's only one guy and you have to mark him. Just like, ha, how do you let that situation like I, I don't arise? think the, the problem with this game was so much the player selection because I understand they're resting up some of the big names in no, the yeah. defense for Real Madrid. I get, I get it. And rotation is necessary. And we were, this is, this is, a, uh, this should have been an easy game for us given our history and given Amaria's position in the league. But I think the real issue was the intensity. There was, there just was no desire, no hunger to win today. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what killed us in the end. I don't think it was necessarily the, um, I mean, it, of course, you know, not having your best player affects the game, but, I think we should have performed well. I think it should have been a 3-0 game. I think we should have put way more goals past them. I know it's a low-table uh, team that's going to yeah. play a low block, but still, that shouldn't be an excuse to lose such a such a stupid game. But uh, we live and we learn. I, I think, obviously, Chavi is still uh, a new coach. There's still a lot of lessons that he's got to take. Um, the best coaches have struggled at very low levels. We've seen Thomas Tuchel doing it in the Bundesliga, Jurgen Klopp. Oh, Thomas Tuchel also in League One with PSG, um, and countless others. You know, I mean, there's there's examples like Pep Guardiola, but not everyone started like that. You know, we, we also have people like Jose Mourinho starting with Porto, and and the list goes on. But my point is, um, the reason I'm not attacking Xavi as as much as I think other people would is because yes, he didn't go with his best lineup, but at the same time, logically speaking, it makes sense what he's doing. And I said this yesterday in the preview. I see. I'm, I was expecting to see some major rotation on defense, and that's what we got. Um, because I, <laughs> I believe yeah. it's we have the most depth along along. Well, I, I think more than midfield, we got more defensive depth than yeah. uh, midfield depth. And listen, we're not in a good spot right now. We are missing. Uh, I, I would say our best midfielder or one of our best midfielders. But <clears throat> I'm not gonna lose hope for the game with Madrid. Um, of course. The, the the individual performances today were very disappointing. One player I would like to say though that I didn't think played terribly was Ferran Torres. I thought Ferran Torres had a decent game. He got some yeah. good passes in. Yeah. Um I was a little disappointed with Lewandowski. I know I know he's not mm-hmm. um a type of player that's gonna drop back and create he's not like let's say like a, a Harry Kane. And that's fine. Not everyone has to have the same play style but um but of course I thought his game involvement was very poor. Um, he's becoming an anonymous like on the pitch because uh, we're seeing like after the World Cup break he's barely been on the score sheet and when he does yeah, like, his impact hasn't been the same it's when I, I also, the start I also of the think, season I also think it's due to the fact that it, well, from what I've seen Lewandowski <laughs> works well with players with good uh, ball crossers and uh, fast players that that get into the box um, from the side so yeah in Munich, we saw this with players like Alfonso Davies, which were a threat going up and down the pitch and creating okay. chances. Leroy Sané as well, Serge Gnabry. Um, and I think he benefits from those players that are that are the opposite of what he does, right? Lewandowski is a slower, more methodical player, you know, taking the touch, um, being a poacher in the box. And I think he's insanely uh, great at what he does. But I think that having... Dembele there has been a big impact for him because you know if we we look back I thought I thought he was scoring fairly well with Dembele, um, and Rafinha too. But I, I just think he's missing some uh, offensive help right now, and I can see why that's the case because uh, Barca are obviously not at the top of their offensive game currently. They're missing big names, mm-hmm. and well, the big name basically being Dembele, but also Pedri to an extent because yeah. he, he does add the creativity. So. I just think it's been, you know, bad luck, maybe some poor form. But even then, I can't even say it's that because when he's been given the chance, he has scored. Um, I, I just think he's got to get more involved. You know, it, sometimes it almost feels like we're playing with 10 um, yeah. because of how little he can do. But uh-huh. then again, if he's getting there, so I don't really care. I just think the team needs to step up offensively, try to try to pile on the pressure early on. And we see that when Barca plays big uh, games that they care about, like classicals against Madrid, they go with that intensity. They go yeah, there and they, they say, hey, we're gonna w- <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna win this. We gotta score on early. And 
I think if you keep that uh, mindset with low block teams, it's it's, it's a no brainer. But hmm. no, to kind of sum up sum up today's like to kind of say I think that Alex has said already. Um, we we understand that Xavi is trying to to rest players. We, yeah. We, 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 I mean, he's kind of he's not forced to, but he I'm, I'm sure he's being advised to by, by the higher ups. You couldn't let today get off him. With that being said, the sense of urgency was not there, and we saw that. Yeah, the guy said Ferran didn't have a bad game. We saw stuff like that. What you said about Garcia, Garcia, I've been saying this since last season. He has never, he has never been, been eye opening. I best in this team, he is the fourth center back in the team, probably. So he's someone that I mean, I feel like today there was really no injury news on Conde, so I feel like they could have very well started Conde as center back, and we was we all know that was it was gonna be out. Conde as center back, center back is less demanding than right back, so we can so they could have probably. In the sense of how Barca plays, center back would have been less demanding, and Conde could have gotten a, a more of a layoff. I mean, I I don't really understand what happened to them today, but once again, those not necessarily lost. I mean, at the very worst, they, they were at the very worst they need to tie. We we hope this doesn't come back to to bite us in the ass the, down the stretch when we, mm-hmm. we have a comfortable seven point lead, but it's really not comfortable. Xavi, I mean, once again, he tries to to overthink, trying to manipulate the the lineup to, to the starting eleven to to rest people or not. He has to realize that these people are professionals. They they they're meant to go twice a week. They're they're asked to maybe three times a, three times a week. They have the conditioning for it. He's overthinking way too much. Who to put in? Who to put out? He needed to put his best starting eleven and secure three points. He didn't. That that's on him. That I mean, he, mm-hmm. he has been experimenting with a, with a bunch of different starting 11s. Yeah, even if you don't have Araujo, people like Pedri in, keep everything the same and and build with whatever you have at hand. If you gotta put Kessie in and switch up the mid, the midfield a little bit, and maybe put Conde in center, in center back instead of right back, you have to do what you have for you have to keep your successful successful players. Playing and he didn't do so. He's, he keeps mm-hmm. overthinking. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I, I agree with what I was saying. I think a main problem with Chavi right now is that he's 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 switching players or rotating players as if he had the real depth for it. He doesn't at the moment, at least not on defense. There's only two players you can maybe sub out, um, and I would say that's only like Balde and Sergio Roberto. And even then, you know, we we feel they're their absence uh, when it comes to the attack. But, I mean, when I when I, I meant Conde right back for Sergio Roberto. Um, but, yeah, I, I think what Alvaro was saying is true to an extent. I think he's overthinking it a little bit. I don't think he has <clears throat> the the players. You know, I don't think he has the the facilities to be doing this at this point. Okay. Um, but, of course, you know, th- this team is still growing. This team is not perfect. I know we've got... We were a lot better than we were last year, but that doesn't mean we're at the point that we want to be at. Um, there's still a lot of room for improvement, and we're going to see this. Now, hiccups like this are about to happen. We can't lose faith or be discouraged by um, <coughs> by poor performances because I think I think we've had a good season so far. Um, we're top of the league. We've already won a, a domestic cup. Yes, we did poor in Europe, and that's a, a discussion we've had many times, and that's a separate topic, but... I don't think we're headed a, a, a down a bad way, uh, a bad track. I, I think we just got to keep the focus, um, keep winning the games that matter, and just listen. If you're not going to win Copa Rey, win the Liga. But, yeah. we, of course, we got to go Thursday with the mentality that we're going to win everything. Exactly. Um, one no, thing no, I... No. Well, one last thing, what pisses me off the most is that Maria was not a team that you overthink. You put out your best players, and you do what you got to do. You mm-hmm. don't... You don't change your tactic against a team that their play style interferes with yours. Ameria. No, 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 I, I, I no, do, no, I do no, understand when, that, that. When you think of La Liga, you don't think of Ameria. Ameria yeah. is a team that that that, that jumps between sec between second and first, and first division. Yeah, that was not a game, and no. I did, I didn't I didn't get to see much of it, but I I, I was confident in in a win. 
Yeah. Um, uh. I do understand that Xavi made with the rotation because this is a game that you can make rotations in. Just I I don't think that the team showed up today. I don't think that they matched the intensity. And one thing that I am worried about is that mental the, 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 the mental block. Because last season we had this exact same period where after we were knocked out in the Europa League and we had that amazing period in January and February where we had that amazing run and everything and we beat Real Madrid 4-0 and everything, Barcelona had like a drought in La Liga where we were dropping points, um, where Real Madrid basically escaped from us, where Barcelona were dropping points really easily. Um, I don't want Barcelona to go right now because right now I think it would be a catastrophic failure and I think one of the biggest failures if we lose La Liga in this position that we are right now. That's my only fear. Can this team... Because, for example, if we lose on Thursday, can this team bounce back? Because the game on Thursday, I mean, on next weekend on Sunday, is going to be against Valencia at home. We're not going to have Pedri... I mean, we're not going to have Gavi, Pedri, or Rafinha, and Usman Nabele. Look, Gavi and Rafinha what? are both uh, suspended for that game. How is Barcelona going to line up? And if they do drop points, how are they going to respond mentally? Because so, uh, that's uh, the one thing you would say in this team that they struggle the most. I didn't really quote what you said. This team cannot afford to lose a Liga for many reasons. And one of the reasons is Xavi. We, we, we're cutting Xavi some flag in Europe because we we hope that he's more... It shouldn't be the case. We hope that he's more focused in La Liga. We were saying this year that he needed to, at the very worst, win the... The Supercopa, I, 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 they didn't win a trophy. He wants he won a Supercopa. Yeah. The state in which the Liga is in, it's not anymore a matter a matter of oh at least he won a trophy. <coughs> that La Liga should not fall out fall fall out of Barcelona's hands. Today we stumbled. We had low morale. We, we, we have we had low morale and low stamina because of the Man U game. They gotta regroup and get back to the winning ways. Yeah. The only game that should bring a tie or a loss should be Madrid. Maybe, maybe a not even. Maybe Atletico, because they have been playing better as of late. The the way the other teams are playing around the Liga, Barca should not have anything less than a draw the rest of the way. Hey, it's, it's not, it's it's not like me that. being biased. They cannot afford to let the Liga go. No, no, you, you're completely right. But but can Barcelona do that? Uh, the, 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 that that's the question because we, we, like we gotta see, we gotta see yeah, how we, we gotta we see, see. Pe- Pedis, Araujo, and we have three the three most important players in each section of the field are injured. Yeah. Araujo, the, the the leader of our defense. Pedri, yeah. the leader of our midfield. And then Pedri is not the leader of the offense, but he was he has been the most impactful winger. For yeah, him. exactly. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I, I want to Alex said is why I said Bar- Cherry cannot p- play depth without having much depth. That's the that's the issue. What were you saying, Alex? I just wanted to ask real quick: When is Dembele expected back? Uh, um, I'm late did, did, March. I, 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 late I late March. He, 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 yeah. There isn't a timetable right now, but expect late March, late late March, early April, around there. Um, yeah, it's a tough injury. Uh, but guys, before we round off, match rating. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a four. Four. Oh uh, yeah, I don't really care. Four. Just because we showed up. Yeah, we showed up. <laughs> uh, I was gonna give it a five, but like, yeah, you're right. Four. I th- I think no one. Perf- I think uh, the team. It was, it was such a disappointing performance, and just it just it just sucks. Um, but hey, okay, guys, we we have to be confident because hey, we have Real Madrid on Thursday. We need to be up for it. Um, we we have a chance to basically put a very good game and beat Real Madrid in the Copa del Rey, put out a statement, and then if we go on Sunday, we're back on track. That's it. We we, we can't we can't diddle dally. We we have to get back on this momentum. Um, and we have to make sure that we win La Liga. Uh, but guys, that was it for tonight's episode. Um, we gave our thoughts. It wasn't the best performance, unfortunately. It wasn't. This isn't the result that we wanted. It's not the performance that we wanted. Um, but the La, La Liga season isn't over. We said this from the start that the season was going to be very difficult. Um, we are competing against Real Madrid, um, so it's not going to be easy at all. Um, but have faith in this team. Have faith in the players. Um, and as always, guys, I post a link on Twitter if you guys want to join. I call it Podcast Ten. Just click the link. Uh, and as always, like, subscribe, and comment. 
We'll see you guys all on the next episode. Peace out, guys.